We're here at Nathaniel Hawthorne Middle School 74 with this incredible teacher, Jason Spagnoli. I'm loving this guy. He's teaching these kids a very high level of production for film and TV that I haven't seen in a lot of other schools, even high schools. Jason, it's a pleasure meeting you. You know how impressed I am with you. I love what you're teaching these kids. I love how the kids respond to you. Um, what Later on, we're all going to see some of the uh, videos that the kids have been shooting, but I went outside and followed you around. We were over at the, uh, the shopping center at Springfield Boulevard where they're shooting the commercials, but uh, I'm just so impressed with it. So first, thank you for what you're doing for the kids, but, uh, but tell everybody in the audience uh, about yourself and about, about the program that you have at the school. So the Moving Image program began three years ago here at the Nathaniel Hawthorne Middle School 74 in Oakland Gardens, Queens. We are one of the branches of the many arts programs that the New York City Department of Education offers, so just like theater and graphic art, studio art, dance, music, the Moving Image is is the technical word for film because we don't just do film we also cover animation and television and so here at the school my students for the last three years have been studying different aspects of film television and animation and to me my background with a, a bachelor's in fine arts from SUNY Purchase as a film major uh, I think it's really important that students express themselves through this new media, especially because with the way technology has advanced now, they're all over social media, they're all over YouTube, and I make the joke that, yes, some of you use Snapchat, you can make a movie by yourself, but real films, real stories that express our lives, the world around us, you need a community or a team Hey there folks, this is Jason Spagnoli. I am the moving image teacher for Nathaniel Hawthorne Middle School 74 here in Oakland Gardens, Queens. And what you see in front of me is a wonderful group of talented young filmmakers from my eighth grade moving image class. Now these young filmmakers have all created commercials for local businesses here in Oakland Gardens. And I'm gonna have them tell you a little bit about what they have done. So right here next to me is Wea Yason. Wea, can you tell us what business you made a commercial for? We made a commercial for Slim's Bagels. And can you tell the audience a little bit about your concept? Our concept was kind of like a documentary where we asked people, how did you like the bagel? Can you describe it for me? And then we edit all their responses together. And what made you and your team come up with this concept? Um, there are a lot of commercials on TV where they, on the bottom, they say real people, not actors, and they would ask people, oh, so what do you think about this? What do you think about this, that? And I think that's how we came up with it. So using real life examples. Yes. Excellent. Thank you, Wea. And now to her left, we have Sophia Mojica, who, can you tell the audience what commercial or what business you did a commercial for and what the concept was? I did a commercial for Red Mango and the concept was two students who were studying and they needed a break and they chose Red Mango for their go-to treat. Go-to treat? That sounds like you're selling the product right now. Sophia, what made you come up with that concept? Well, I wanted it to be relatable so that, you know, everybody just can come to Red Mango and like, you know, if they're studying and they want something to eat, they can just go there. Okay, and now we have Evan Stephelius. Evan, can you tell the audience uh, what business your commercial was for and what the concept was? We made a commercial for Gino's Pizzeria, and the concept was it's a family-style restaurant, so the commercial was about a, um, a mother who takes her daughter into Gino's Pizzeria, and she remembers the first time she had pizza with her mother, and she's going to take her daughter for her first slice of pizza, and it's to show that Gino's Pizzeria is a family-style restaurant, and it's not just about the food, it's about the memories you make in the restaurant. And next we have Brandon Kaplan, who is the director for a Slim's Bagels commercial. Can you tell us why you, or what inspired the concept? Uh, like, our concept was like an adventurous, like more action approach. So like, uh, we did like an Indiana Jones type of thing where he was looking for like the best bagel in the world. And like uh, the reason that like our group chose to do that was we all really liked like uh, action like adventure movies and like we've seen on TV sometimes where they go on an adventure to get like the product. So we thought it'd be a really good idea to use that with the bagel. Thank you. And last but not least, we have Zaki Yi, who came up with a concept also for Red Mango. Zaki, can you tell us a little bit about your concept and what inspired it? Um, well, 
I was just thinking about how like you guys were talking about red mango was like a healthy decision. So I was thinking the an- the angel and devil was like the main character in parts. So like the devil was be telling us like it's not a good idea to get red mango when you get something else and the angel was telling us like red mango is good for you and like healthy and we should choose that. Jason, I want to thank you again. This is great stuff you're teaching the kids. It's a wonderful program. Uh, everybody's going to watch, watch these videos on Bayside Live TV and have a little contest and vote for who they like. And thank you again. It's great work you're doing.